What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make one of these trendy flat illustrations. Alright, let's go ahead and open up Procreate. To add a new artboard, we're going to press the plus sign in the top right corner and choose a new artboard. Then to add a new photo, we're going to go to the wrench tool, press add, and then insert photo. Go down to where your photo is saved and select it for it to pop up in your artboard. After that, we're just going to scale it up to fit the size of our artboard and get it nice and centered. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to outline all the simple shapes. So I'm just going to open up a new layer on top of my background. I'm going to rename this one Hair since that's the first shape I'm going to start with. So go ahead and select your color by pressing and holding with your finger. And I'm actually going to lower the opacity of the background photo just so I can see a little better. So I'm just going to use this scripting brush for this process. So I just kind of freestyle the hair. I don't really follow it just because it's so random. I just kind of continue to use these free flowing squiggly shapes to fill in my curls and it seemed to work pretty good. So I'm just continuing around my entire head until all of my hairs are drawn out. One cool thing about Procreate is you can actually drag and drop colors into an enclosed shape to fill it really quickly. And one thing I want to point out, if you have a shape that's not completely enclosed, then this will happen. So yeah, you just need to make sure that your entire shape is completely enclosed. Alright, so we have the first simple shape done. So now I'm just going to start with the second simple shape, which is going to be just the skin layer. I'm going to select the perfect skin tone. I'm actually going to drag this skin layer underneath the hair just so it kind of overlaps. And then once again, just outline the simple shape. When it comes to outlining, I actually try to stick inside of my body outline just so things look a little more realistic. So we're done with the skin layer. The next layer I'm going to do is the shirt. And we're just kind of following these same steps throughout just to create all of these simple shapes. I'm going to lower the opacity of my skin just so I can see a little better where the shirt starts and ends. I actually decided to simplify the shirt quite a bit. I didn't include any of the ruffles just because I wanted this to be a nice and easy tutorial. And just know that you can go back and clean up any of your shapes at any time to make them look better. All right, another simple shape. We're gonna do the pants next. If you're wondering what's happening with my pants right here, um, it's actually supposed to be a bow, but I guess my bow started coming undone in this photo. 
just a FYI. I actually almost forgot, but yeah, this last shape we're gonna do is for these little slip-on shoes. And like I said before, don't be afraid to go back in and kind of clean up some of your shapes because it'll just make your artwork look so much better in the end. We got all the simple shapes filled in, so now we're gonna make this artwork come to life by adding in some of the details in the shadows. So I'm just gonna start with the pants. Add a layer right above your pants layer, and we're gonna call this pants details. So I'm just gonna select the color of the pants and choose a color that's a few notches darker than the current blue color. And I actually like to lower the opacity of our simple outline just so we can see through to the image below. So you can see these areas that are a little darker. Those are the details that I kind of want to call out with this darker color. So all of these details I'm making kind of just look like a jumbled mess right now, but I promise you it'll all come together in the end. So you may notice that some of my lines are thicker and some of my lines are thinner. I decided to draw the, th the more important details with thick lines and then just some of the stitching and less important details with thinner lines. And I think it just adds a nice hierarchy to the drawing. I actually noticed that I forgot to um, erase part of the jeans, so here I am fixing that area. So another thing I'm going to show you, I actually thought that the details in the jeans were too dark, so what you can do is press on the little wand at the top, click Use Saturation, Layer, and then you can adjust the brightness to whatever color you want.
So now I'm just going to go through and add details to all the rest of the layers. So here I am adding a new layer and I'm going to call it Skin Details. I'm going to select the color and then choose a color that's a couple notches darker for the shadow. And feel free to lower the opacity of any layer just so you can see what is below. These details are really important. As you can see, I had no chin before and adding these details will kind of bring the artwork back to life a little more. So I'm just going through adding details to the fingers, making sure those are separated so it doesn't look like one big blob on my hand. adjusting the hue and the last thing I need to do is add details to this shirt so I just chose a darker blue color I'm adding in some of the wrinkles all right so the very last thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a background color so I'm just labeling this layer background color I'm choosing a nice light blue color for the background and that's how you do it this is the finished artwork you can see all of the details this is a really fun drawing to do it's really easy I think anyone can do it and it's very trendy right now the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to save out these photos so go to the wrench press share I'm gonna choose JPEG and this will save it right to your photo gallery. So let's check. And there it is. That's how you do it. Drop the Apple Pencil.